What's up gang, Evil here. Here's for my next hairbrained idea. So, <clears throat> a lot of the gaming takes place here at the table, but for more casual stuff like Hero Quest, um, I thought it would be nice to be able to play like with the family uh, around the sectional, or maybe it's a more casual game, you know, it's just rolling some dice and eating some chips and stuff. So I thought it would be cool to make a topper for this ottoman and then, uh, you know, be able to play like that. So. I mean, the obvious thing would be to throw down a piece of plywood or something of the board on it, but I want something that looks, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, the scenery and the other stuff I've been building. So I came up with this harebrained idea. We'll see how it works out. <clears throat> so I've been in love lately with this um, XPS foam. Um, this stuff is great for building scenery and among other things. It's pretty rigid. It's pretty strong stuff. Um, I found this mat from tablewar.com this is their their dungeon floor edition it's basically like a giant mouse pad but it's got a nice kind of dungeon floor print on it so my idea is to cut um, a large piece of this XPS foam with an inch buffer um, around <clears throat> this is just for illustration but an inch buffer around this uh, mat to be able to put a little barrier up so dice don't jump off the edge of the table. Um, and then I would essentially uh, sort of paint it and dress it up like I do a lot of my tabletop uh, scenery just to give it uh, you know, a, a decent look, sort of a, a more uh, kind of dungeon themed look. So we're gonna try this. Um, so I'm gonna get to cutting some foam here and uh, We'll see how this works. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm a little nervous because it's in this size. It's a little bit flexible, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So you can kind of see this thing coming together. Um, I think I got the size pretty much the way I wanted, and then. I got these things here that what I want is so that if someone rolls dice and it hits the side it will not go off the side of the table. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to glue these on and then I'm going to kind of stylize these uh, like this. So that's what this is, is, is uh, one inch XPS. So basically I'll do that all the way around and then I'll paint it and decorate it to make it look nice. What I'm trying to decide now is if I'm going to leave this at one inch high or if I should leave it, or if I should make it two inches high, so. <clears throat> um, that's it for now. I've got a couple decisions to make, and then uh, I'll start uh, gluing this together. All right, trying a little tacky glue. Got the first two rails gluing down now. Hopefully these are strong. The whole point here is I want this thing to be light. I don't want it to be big and heavy when I pick it up. I want to be able to pick it up and set it behind the couch or whatever. Uh, so that's the whole point of trying foam. If this doesn't work, we'll go to plywood or whatever. But uh, we're going to give this a shot for right now. All right, well, the glue is dry on my rails. And now I'm just uh, using my hot wire cutter to kind of form the edges like stone. So I'm going to be doing that all the way around. All right. What we're going to do is with the styling done on the rails, make them stone-like. And then there's what it looks like um, with the mat in. So pretty happy with how that all turned out. The next step is going to be um, sealing this entire thing with uh, glue and then paint. Um, and then we'll finish it up with some dry brushing and hopefully it'll look pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, seems fairly sturdy, um, easy to pick up and carry. Um, so, so far so good. <clears throat> All right, first layer of sealer going down. Um, basically Elmer's glue, uh, acrylic paint, and some water. Um, uh, basically I just throw some color in that first coat to try and cover that pink. It's going to make it a lot easier. Um, when I start throwing paint down, but uh, first coat here almost done. Then once it's dry, I'll flip it over and do the bottom. All right, glue coat's on there and all dry. Now doing a uh, base coat of black. Just, uh, 
get a uh, solid base color on there before I start to airbrush or dry brush. So sure about your Valentine's box. All right, Valentine's Day, day three of working on this thing. I think I just finished up the base coat this morning. So once this all dries, I can start dry brushing and then start candy coating this thing and be done. I'm sick of working on it already. Base coat is complete. Got some apple barrel gray. Gonna do sort of a coating of that and then we'll do some dry brush over the top of that. So finally gonna get some color onto this thing. Oh, and there we are with a, a wet brush of gray and then a dry brush of some white. So I essentially got three colors. Kind of give it the whole feeling of being stone. So we'll do a little bit more touch up on this and then it'll be time to put uh, a clear glue shell on this and then finally uh, a uh, clear coat to kind of seal it. <sighs> Just put an entire coat of Elmer's Clear uh, diluted with a little bit of water. So there's coat number one. Once this fully dries, um, we'll work on coat number two. All right, here's the finished product. So um, looks wise, this turned out exactly the way I wanted. Um, size wise, I wish I would have scaled down just a smidge to kind of get the edges away from the edges of the uh, ottoman so we can go off by they don't catch it but um otherwise i'm pretty happy with it uh, i think it looks really good um the durability got tested right off the bat as soon as i put it in here my dog jumped right in the middle of it um and her toenails uh totally scratched uh, a piece of it but um as this is foam uh, just a little bit of paint a little bit of dry brush uh fixed in minutes and because this is sort of a rocky uh, design um, it's not gonna be noticeable in fact do, do, do. this is the spot that I repaired right here so uh, you can barely see it once I throw some gray paint uh, on it you won't be able to see it at all but yeah that's really my only regret is I just I was a little bit constrained because of the size of the mat this is a three by three mat um, and the Ottoman is exactly three exactly by three, so to get the wall around, had to go a little bit bigger. So when you walk by, um, there is a chance you could catch it, but uh, I don't know, it seems pretty sturdy. Not too bad, I think it'll be fairly rugged. Um, so I can't wait to get some games going on, but anyway, that is my Ottoman game topper. So. That's going to be uh, it for now. I appreciate you guys watching. If you wouldn't mind, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.